hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous video uh, related to optoelectronics we discussed about uh, the concept or the optical phenomena of polarization so in this video we are going to discuss about another optical phenomena which is uh, related to the optoelectronics uh, subject which will be used so this phenomena optical phenomena is called as dispersion okay we all uh, have some basic idea about dispersion uh, we have studied it in optics section of physics so uh, again just uh, let's have a quick look about uh, how this concept is uh, like and how it will be used in optoelectronics so the basic concepts we'll discuss so dispersion of light is uh, actually the phenomena of splitting of white light into its constituent colors okay so white light it is uh, composed of several other constituent colors determined by their wavelengths their individual distinct wavelengths and those uh, colors are of uh, seven types and those seven colors are violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red okay so this phenomena of dispersion of light is demonstrated with the help of an optical apparatus called as glass prism so when white light basically sunlight is passed through a glass prism okay with a suitable angle it splits into its seven constituent colors these seven colors okay which uh, can be remembered easily with the acronym vibcure and those seven colors are called as the spectrum of white light so this is how it something goes we have a glass prism with a suitable angle of the prism this is very important it is unique for every prism when white light is passed through its incident on this uh, glass prism of of course there will be refraction here and uh, this white light it splits up it separates into its seven constituent colors and it undergoes some deviation okay and uh, the least deviation occurs for red color and the maximum deviation occurs for violet color red is at the top violet is at the bottom in terms of uh, the location and the maximum angle of deviation occurs for violet minimum angle of deviation occurs for red and all the other colors indigo blue green yellow orange they are in between so this is happen this this is what happens okay this is the phenomena but why does it happen why does dispersion occur so we know that the color of light it depends upon its wavelength okay red light it has a wavelength of around 8000 angstrom and uh, violet light is compared uh, it has a wavelength of about 4000 angstrom okay so angstrom is about 10 to the power minus 8 uh, meters or something i don't remember exactly but it it is of the order of that minus 8 or minus 10 something i don't exactly remember uh, okay so it's of the order of 10 to the power minus 8 or 10 to the power minus 10 okay meter or centimeter okay something like that uh, okay so red light has a wavelength of around 8000 angstrom and uh, violet light it has a wavelength of around 4000 angstrom now this wavelength it affects the refractive index of a material the wavelength of light which is passed through any material it affects this refractive index the refractive index of that material varies in accordance to the wavelength which is explained by Cauchy's formula 
So let us see what Cauchy's formula is. So according to Cauchy's formula, which interrelates refractive index and wavelength, the refractive index of any material varies as per the wavelength of the light passed through it in terms of this. Mu is the refractive index which is equal to a plus b by lambda square plus c by lambda 4. So it is inversely related. Refractive index is almost inversely related. There is an inverse relationship although there is this is not a direct inverse relationship because the square and uh, fourth power terms come into play but still an increase in wavelength will cause a decrease in refractive index. A dec uh, so a decrease in the wavelength will cause an increase in the refractive index because lambda is appearing in the denominator. Okay, so this is Cauchy's formula and A and B and C, they are constants which are unique for a particular material. Now, this angle of deviation, okay, this angle which uh, the refracted ray, okay, when it undergoes refraction, this deviation from the normal incident angle which happens it again depends on the refractive index the angle of deviation again is dependent on the refractive index the refractive index is dependent on wavelength the angle of deviation is dependent upon refractive index so this angle of deviation is given by mu minus 1 into a where a is the angle of the prism this this stop angle this angle of the prism Okay, so here the red light has a wavelength of around 8000 angstrom, violet light has a wavelength of about 4000 angstrom. So of course red light has a higher wavelength than violet light. So as wavelength is higher, refractive index of red light will be less refractive index of that material when red light is passed it will be of course less and violet light when it is passed because it has a lower wavelength as compared to red light the refractive index for violet light it will be more okay so this here the wavelength of violet light is smaller than red light okay so refractive index as per this formula for violet light it will be more as compared to red light because there is an inverse relationship higher the wavelength lower the refractive index lower the wavelength higher the refractive index so as we, the refractive index of violet light is more as compared to red light so as per this formula the angle of deviation for violet light will also be higher as compared to red light so this explains this see the maximum angle of deviation is for the violet light Minimum angle of deviation is for red light at the two extremes. Violet at one extreme with maximum angle of deviation. Red at the other extreme with minimum angle of deviation and all the other colors in between. Okay, so this explains why dispersion takes place. Okay, so it is all, it all involves the dependence of refractive index on wavelength of light, the refractive index of the prism material, it depends on the wavelength of the light, the component which is being passed. Again, the refractive index, it, uh, it, it alters the angle of deviation. The angle of deviation, it depends on the refractive index. So this is what causes dispersion of white light white light is composed of seven individual colors constituent colors all having distinct wavelengths because of their distinct wavelengths in uh, their individual magnitude their values they undergo different angle of deviation as per Cauchy's formula okay and this angle of deviation concept so this is why dispersion occurs so another practical application of dispersion through which we can understand this concept is through Newton disc. So this Newton disc it, it, it uh, consists of the seven colors of white light okay in terms of equal segments okay segments of equal areas. So 
this circle it consists of seven equal segments of uh, these individual colors violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red and when this disc it is rotated at a very high speed okay when it is rotated at a very high speed it appears as if the color of the disc it becomes white okay so it is basically an optical illusion okay uh, there is a very uh, very a uh, deep uh, thing which is involved because of uh, the the, uh, the image which lasts in the eye for one certain amount of second and because of that when it rotates at a higher speed it appears it creates an image of white so this is uh, how we can practically demonstrate this phenomena also the rainbow occurrence the sunlight which uh, the the water droplets in the uh, the clouds uh, after rainfall uh, the sunlight which passes through these water droplets it splits the sunlight into its seven constituent colors which uh, causes rainbow formation that is also another practical example so this is the basic concept of dispersion now dispersion comes into play in uh, not actually dispersion but the splitting of uh, any light into its constituent colors in terms of their wavelength that con concept comes into play in optoelectronics because uh, light signals of various wavelengths are used and in terms of that there is a dispersion uh, occurrence of dispersion in the fiber optics and in other devices semiconductor devices so that thing comes into play so for that we have to understand clearly what is the phenomena of dispersion so here we have discussed some of the basic concepts related to uh, dispersion of light uh, also we discuss the cause of dispersion uh, along with Cauchy's formula and the angle of deviation formula and also about the Newton disc and rainbow occurrence. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos uh, related to engineering science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.